Hey guys, always Sonic here. Got a few announcements before we start the main course of this video of matching the camper. When you guys were saying that you liked the camper videos and that's what you were here for, so I, I, tr I try. I don't always, you know, I don't, all, I'm not always capable of fulfilling y'all's requests, but I try doing what I can. Anyway. Anyway, with the announcement, yes, I made an announcement video yesterday that, well, first of all, as a VTuber, you got to stream, so I'm going to be starting streaming on Twitch, and the VODs will come to YouTube a little bit later. I can't guarantee exactly how often this will be, but from the, but it should be 3 p.m. tomorrow? Then again, I have no idea exactly when I'm posting, particularly this video, but at least for a time being, expect you know, on Thursdays, sometime in the afternoon, a stream's going to come up. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for that. Oh, okay. And the first game that we're playing is SD Gundam Battle... Oh, why am I saying SD Gundam Battle? Right? SD Gundam Battle Alliance. Yes, yeah, sorry, this is like the second or third time I had to record this video. Anyway, SD Gundam Battle Alliance, that's going on. Viewers get to choose the mobile suit I use. That's how it's going down. Next... Oh, but first of all, that Twitch, the link to my Twitch is in the description. Go ahead, give it a follow, all that good stuff. Next, Twitter. That's in the description, too. I, it's mainly just memes and my art, but my Twitter's down there. Go ahead, give it a follow. And then thirdly, thirdly what we got for you is I started a Discord. This is basically so that, you know, I can build a community around me. Y'all can talk to each other. Y'all have a line of communication to me. We already got flail throughs in there, the drunk Zaku. Mm -hmm. Nova Gundam. Is Maelstrom in there yet? I don't think so, but we do have Duchess Snow, aka Nurse Gundam. We got her in there. Spidey, I don't think he's joined yet. I'm not sure if he will. But, you know, we got some people in there already, so go ahead and join the Discord. Invite should still be down there, and it should be good for, what, five more days? And eventually I'll make, an, I'll make another invite when I remember to do so. So... First of all, <laughs> that first announcement video didn't do so well. The algorithm hates me. So be sure to give this video a like, you know, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss anything. Because that was a pretty important thing here. So now on to the main course. I mean, actually, let me make myself smaller here so we can talk about this. All right, the main reason I have to re record this video so much is A, the audio was fucked up, but B, is because I complained a lot about the quality of my team, which was admittedly not very good. I'm just going to be be upfront, which it wasn't very good. But I think there's more to, there's more there than just whining. So we're gonna get into it, see if I can uh, present this a little bit better. My God, that's a little loud on my side. Not sure if it's coming through the mic. I'll put it to you like this. You guys ever have an incredibly stressful game where you're just always on the bleeding edge of losing? And it's just... It's not that your team and the enemy team is doing well, and it's just like a, a matter of the slightest, smallest decision changing the outcome of the battle. It's literally that you're carrying your trash-ass team. That's kind of how this, this that's kind of how this match looks like for me. Camper starts at 450, I believe. By all accounts, this is a the 600 version, so I think that's a level three, level three, or level four. Ally has destroyed an enemy mobile... I forget, but it is <laughs> but it is a high tier camper. Doing pretty well so far. 1600 to zero it will not stay like that. I promise you. Well, I personally don't think I have a whole lot of trouble fighting off these guys, at least 1v1, the camper is a 1v1 god. I don't know why he thought that was a good play against the camper who has a shotgun. Whatever, he doesn't notice me. That's fine. Get some damage into his legs. And watch this, by the way. Watch this, by the way. Oh, no, does that happen a little bit later? Ah, probably happens a little bit later. Never mind. Oh, it happens right here. 
Okay, I back. I see this guy, and I'm trying. And in that instant, I'm trying to figure out what my options are. So I switch to my shotgun. See that it's out of ammo and reloading. So I immediately just get the hell out of there. Now, at the time, it it felt like that instance took several seconds. But looking at it now, I'm surprised just how fast it was. And of course. Now we're losing. This enemy team was actually pretty good. Not the Sentinel gun. I think he's still getting used to it. So whenever I saw him, he was a pretty he was pretty he was pretty free kill off, I'm not gonna lie. He was pretty free kill whenever I saw him. I don't think he actually did a whole lot throughout the course of the game. I think he was the only enemy on the enemy team who ended up not beating his rival. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be my rival here. We'll take a look at the results when we actually end up getting to it. But the enemy team is very, very strong. They have a Gapsley, which can act like a support because it has a very long range rifle. And it can do support like things. The Gapsley is pretty good. And it can do melee, it can do a whole bunch of stuff. Then they have a GPL 1 and a Gundam Mark 2. They have the new Sentinel Gundam. And they have the DJ, which is completely underrated, by the way. Absolutely underrated suit. It's fantastic. It's got a shotgun, it's got a beam rifle. Good stuff. Not quite as fast as the camp, you understand. But still pretty good. Now this is also a mistake on my part. I was hoping that that volley killed and it didn't. But the problem my team was having throughout the entire course of the game is... Well, first of all... If any one member of my team, other than me, gets into a 1v1 with any other one member of their team, minus maybe the, um, the Sentinel... Not the Sentinel, the Superior Gundam, I should say. We lose. Most of my team will lose any 1v1 fight they get into, while the enemy team will win just about any 1v1 fight they get into. And that enemy team also has a much easier time getting their acts together and sticking together and doing stuff together than my team does. So as a result, they can kind of just bleed us dry. You know, play the long game. Watch this here. I try backing them. Now, what I'm thinking I should have done here is actually maybe... I'm looking at the mini-map now. There are two enemies and there are... Sorry, there are two allies other than me. And then three enemies. I'm thinking what I should have done. Well, they should have boosted, used my maneuver armor to boost into my friendlies and hopefully get some backup there, because they just killed the guy. Matter of fact, they might have just killed the second. But my team was too far away to help me, and I was too far away to go ahead and get their backup. I was kind of expecting them to follow me. Which isn't on them, I think that's more on me. I'm not exempt from mistakes, guys. I'm not, I'm not by no means exempt from mistakes. But what I will say is I'm not sure if this was a good play or not. Oh, this is, this is going to be a thing, but number three went to go bomb the enemy base and left us without backup for about a minute and a half. Now it works out. Watch this, watch this. I call my mobile suit just as my enemy team decides to push. I'm thinking that my team has their front line handled, but that's a misreading of the situation. Instead, what they have is they have... They have the right flank under control. Now, what I should have done in that situation was to just jump back into my mobile suit. But I was thinking I was going to get trampled before I got that chance. Bad play on my part. I should have jumped into it. I still probably end, would have ended up, ended up dying. Because look at this. We have one, two, three allies over on the other side of the map. While we have at least three enemies on our side that is jumping on one of our teammates. You know, you don't need three people to go after one little health dude. Leave it to the fastest guy, everyone else come back. An allied unit has been destroyed. So like I said, my team can't 1v1 for Jack. And putting it together as a team is something else I have a very hard time with. The enemy team has a, is much better put together just as a team. Now I think I now I think I have any one of them in any given one v one, but I think that's more down to the abilities of the camper rather than the abilities of me. An 
and despite the base bomb, we are still down. So let's use this as a learning experience. So what can we do? You, as an individual in a situation where you get randoms, can do absolutely nothing. Which isn't what you want to hear, but that's what's so frustrating about games like this, is that it, it can feel like you lost with no fault of your own, and you're just doomed to lose because Matchmaker said so. Or because you just got unlucky and got a team who can't keep it together, or an enemy team who seems like they're freaking telepathic. Doesn't necessarily have to be your team's bad, but the enemy team's just super, super good. Again, I think I have any one of these guys in a 1v1, but... Again, I think that's more down to the camper than it is to me. I mean, with three stunning weapons plus a sh and not to mention one of those being a shotgun, I mean, you can do you can do a lot worse than the camper, even despite its pretty low, pitiful bolt. I just dumb there to try to keep them still. I'm trying to get my team to back up. We're winning. We have the lead. We don't need to do anything. We just need to back up, hunker down, dodge that one. Munch. I was going to knock him down, but I see as a friend. Now I'm in a 2v1 situation. I'm trying to get everyone to back up and they aren't paying attention to the trap. The best you can do in these situations is to leverage whatever advantage you got. In my case, that was the campers being the camper. But yeah, let's, let's take a look at this. It was close, but we did it. Yeah, this is what I meant. I'm going to use the mouse here. The enemy sentinel is the only one who didn't, didn't end up being his rival, which was our sentinel. Uh, despite doing a lot of damage and having the highest score, and I think the highest kills out of the game, that didn't end up getting me the number one spot. I think that got me number two. Number one spot went to the Gapsley because we didn't have really any way to challenge him besides kind of our own. I can't challenge him from long range. I'm making enough. I can fire bazookas at him, but I can't really do a whole lot besides that. Um, the GPL one kind of poke at him, but Gaff, our gap can kind of poke at him, but it's not a whole lot beyond that. Take a look at the specific scores in general. Yep. Eight and four. I didn't think I died that much. I thought it was only like two or three, but like, there you go. But yeah, so what can we kind of glean from this situation? Like I said, I didn't want this entire video to me just, you know, I'm the best player in the world, and the only reason we lost or we came so close to losing was because uh, my team was dog shit. I'll admit, I do think my team was dog shit. I don't think I was perfect throughout the entire game. No, 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 no. I made mistakes, absolutely. Against the GPL one, and when I called them a mobile suit, absolutely a flaw. Absolutely a bad call. Also, my team was dog shit. But there, but let's think about it this way. The enemy team was able to hold it together. 1v1 everyone besides me. And maybe the Sentinel, I'm not entirely sure what was going on on his end. I wasn't looking all that close. I don't know what was going on on his side. They could fight as a team far more effectively than us, and they can 1v1 more effectively than, than us, and they still lost. The enemy team absolutely 100% deserved to win that. I have no idea what my model's doing right about now. I'll figure that out in a minute. And that's kind of where I wanted to kind of turn the argument well. The enemy team was kind of cheated out of the win. <laughs> they were cheated out of what, what should have been a pretty favorable win on their side. And was that fair? I'm honestly not entirely sure. But that was a really, really, really hard <laughs> match for what I believe was no reason. We just <laughs> guys, we gotta, we gotta keep it together. We gotta stay together. We gotta keep it together. We just, we just got to do better. I'm just, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put it to you like that. The enemy team 100% just should have won in this particular situation. It's just the way it is. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna end things here, and I will see you guys later. Remember to like and subscribe and all that. You know, I know I said it before, but it's always good to remind you. Here are your rewards from this battle.